everybody, it's Anya, the Adult Doll and Toy Collector. Welcome back to the Small Plastic World. I actually filmed the contents of this video a long time ago, but then I kind of lost it on my laptop, so it never got edited or uploaded. And then I found it the other day and realized I had never edited or uploaded it. And I thought, I will go ahead and do it right now. So actually now it's a little outdated. At the time that I made this video, I only had the three Midge dolls that you saw in the thumbnail and you'll see in the video. But now I have thrifted a couple more, which you will see in future videos I still thought this video might be interesting so without further ado here we go today I want to talk about Barbie's first best friend Midge I've got three Midge dolls this is an original vintage Midge from the 60s and there are two Midge dolls from the 90s 1991's wedding day Midge and the Midge reproduction from 1997. First up is this vintage Midge doll. Midge was actually first introduced into the Barbie line in 1963 as Barbie's best friend. I think she was supposed to have a more wholesome appearance and a little less glamorous than Barbie. So Midge has a more girl next door hairstyle with a cute flip and she's got painted freckles. For being a vintage doll, this doll's hair is in really good shape. She's still got her bangs and she's still got quite a bit of her original curl in her hair. It's a little bit in disarray, but it doesn't bother me. Midge has painted blue eyes. This particular doll's eyes are a little wonky as you see her lip paint could use an upgrade, but I have never done that before. I'm really afraid to ruin a vintage doll, so I'm not going to try that at the moment. I have a doll confession. I didn't used to really like the vintage Midge dolls that much, but then I was with my friend in a doll shop and I saw this doll and I just kind of had an epiphany of, oh, she's cute. She's actually a very cute doll. What am I thinking? So I bought this doll at the doll shop and that was that. She still has quite a bit of her fingernail polish paint and you can just barely see some toenail polish paint on her toes as well. When I bought Mitch, she did not have any clothes and I actually don't have very many Barbie outfits from this time period. So luckily I had this dress. I believe I got it sometime in the 90s or the early 2000s. I'm not sure who made it, but it's very nice in this vintage style with a vintage style fabric. And then I just put these random Barbie shoes on her. The Midge doll has the exact same body as the Barbie doll of this time. This body just has five very basic points of articulation. Midge can swivel her head back and forth. Her arms only move back and forth. She can bend at the hip to sit but has no other joints in her legs. I've also put Midge in this cute little hat that I made as part of a doll club craft many years ago. All in all, I'm very happy to have this cool vintage doll in my collection. Next, we travel to 1991. This is actually wedding day Midge. She has a completely different face mold. As you can see, this is the Diva face mold because it was first used on the doll called Diva from Barbie and the Rockers. And then that became Midge's face mold after that. She's a very pretty doll. She has a very 1990s face screening. She's got this beautiful dark pink lip. She has these fancy stud earrings and a very fancy wedding ring. This version of Midge still has red hair but she has long straight red hair it goes down past her bum wedding day midge was supposed to be married to the allen doll who had a different face mold than the vintage allen and there was a whole line of other dolls that were supporting their wedding this doll was given to me by someone who knew i collected barbies so I got her second hand and I didn't get her in her original wedding dress. So I redressed Midge in this Fashion Avenue outfit. The dress pattern goes all the way around and it opens and closes with Velcro. I believe these are the correct shoes for this outfit. They're sort of a kitten heel. They don't stay on the doll's foot very well. They look nice. Midge is on the typical Barbie body for the 90s. She has eight points of articulation. She can move her head side to side and pivot it. Her arm have a permanent bend in the elbow and they move out and back and forth. She has a twist and turn waist, bends at the hip to sit, and she's got the bend and snap knees. This doll is so pretty. She's so 90s and I'm very happy to have her as part of my collection. Next we've got this reproduction Midge doll from 1997. This doll came wearing a reproduction of the vintage senior prom outfit. I bought this doll 
from another doll collector that was downsizing. This is the reproduction box that the reproduction doll came in. She basically has the same head sculpt as the vintage doll, but Mattel did a much more meticulous job on her face paint than this doll here on the left. You can see though that it's a very similar hairstyle. She has red hair with bangs and then her hair is flipped up. The reproduction body also has the same basic points of articulation as the vintage body. They didn't change anything there. The dress is a green strapless ball gown with a large skirt and it is covered with panels of tulle in blue and green. They got a little smushed in storage. The dress opens and closes in the back with two snaps. The outfit is completed with these green sandals with a little pearl glued on the front. Midge has painted red fingernails and toenails. And the dress has this tag. I think Mattel did a lovely job with this reproduction doll. I'm going to say again a controversial doll opinion. If the vintage dolls all looked as pretty as this Midge doll, I probably would have warmed up to them much earlier, but I'm still glad I warmed up to them at all. Very glad I have this cute reproduction doll in my collection. I have a doll confession to make. I used to have more Midge dolls and I foolishly went through a period where I downsized my collection and I ex very much regret downsizing the Midge dolls. I still kick myself. I'm I'm very happy to have these three dolls. Do you have any Midge dolls? Do you have any vintage Midge dolls? 90s Midge or the more recent Midge dolls like the Life in the Dream House Midge, Happy Family Midge? Who are your favorite Midge dolls? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me to talk about Midge. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already done so. And if you have, thank you very much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.